Hello. Hello. Hi, Andy. This is Sandra. Hi. Hi, Pal Fishers. Hi, Andy. How are you today? Good. Especially we are very honored to have Teacher Sandra in our HQ office here in the capital of China, Beijing. Um, would you like to tell us a little bit something about you, Sandra? Sure. I am an American. I've been with Palfish for 15, almost 16 months now. I live in Las Vegas uh, by way of Chicago. I'm a Chicago one originally. And I have been teaching young children for a really long time, about 25 years. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. I'm old. I'm That's old. cool. Thank you. Would you like to tell us uh, about your trip in Longfang, China? Yes. I heard uh, it lasted like one month, and there are just a lot of great things happening there. I, I have been there for a couple of weeks now, mm -hmm. and um, I have met with, with parents and students. I have been honored to spend time with them at the park, playing in the park, having dinner with people. There's nothing better than coming to China and spending time with these kids that, that we get to have class with. It has been just a wonderful, wonderful experience. That's really, really sweet. Wow, that you actually went to China from the USA. Yes. And you took a really long flight. Yes. And you finally saw your sweet cakes. Yes, yes, yes. And That's... it has been amazing. And they're wonderful. Not only a journey, but an adventure. Yes. It is an adventure. And I will come back again next month to travel to South China to see more students. However, like you guys, officials, you might wonder what drove you to meet your students from the other side of the Pacific, the largest ocean in the world. Yeah. Um, I love them. I, I, I love what I get to do every day. What we get to do is so much fun. And um, there's a webcam now between us. So the opportunity after a year, yeah. after spending a year with these kids, um, being able to meet them, it, it just makes the relationship that, that much stronger. And uh, I couldn't wait to meet them. It was an easy decision to just jump on a plane and come mm -hmm. hang out. Kids are fun and they're more fun in person. <laughs> what a great life at this age. Oh, thank you. And what you said just made me have a lot of goosebumps. Because oh, I also you. teach with Popish, not like Sandra. I only teach uh, for the purpose of knowing our teachers more, knowing your experience a little bit more, and also knowing our students and knowing the curriculum. But what you did is just and uh, well, I like it. We have great students. Palfish has the best students. These kids are worth taking the time to get yeah. to know. They're so worth it. Their, their families are wonderful. The people of China are wonderful. I, I, I love being Thank you here. Very it's, been, it's been so wonderful. So come to China. Right? It's your students. Definitely like come to Sandra. China. <laughs> they're, they're, it's, it's the yeah. best experience of a lifetime. Uh, as a teacher, is there anything you want to say to our Palfish teacher community? I, I do, I guess, um, as a teacher. The, the biggest thing that we, we get to do every day is we get to go into the homes of people and spend time with their children and their families. And the, the best part of that is, is the genuine connection that we can have with their families. Um, I do, I'm making hearts with my fingers because I do this with all of my students. Every time I see them, every class, we're honored to, to be invited into their homes and spend time with their with their babies. These are people's children. And to, to be able to do that, it, it's, it's a gift. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And that's the best part of what we get to do every day is we get to be involved in their lives and and it's, it's beautiful. Especially for young kids, you can easily feel the bond between you and the kids. And this is very strong. It is. And this kind of connection will last a really long time. It does. I, I celebrated one year anniversaries recently with, with many, many students. One year anniversary. Right, one year anniversaries. <laughs> I've been able to say that I've known them for a whole year now. And, and to have families be so welcoming and I, I've gotten to know mothers and fathers and 
grandparents and younger sisters and younger brothers and it's it's more than just a teaching experience it's it's a family experience you, you get to know these students over time and they become family and they make you feel like family and I, 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 I do a big smile on my face because um, I love what I get to do every day this is it's just a it's a wonderful to be able to call it a job to play with kids and to call it work. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I don't know how to call it work. There is more than work, more than just a monthly salary. Yeah, it's more than your responsibilities. It's, it's more valuable than all those things, like uh, the numbers. Like, yes. It's something better than that. It's yeah. uh, the contribution between you and the students, between two nations. Uh, you can't ask for better than that. You, it's just life-changing it's life-altering it's one of the best I, I never want to do anything else you guys are stuck with me forever yeah and this also <laughs> keep you really young <laughs> yes it does because I, I do the happy dancing exactly yeah. so speaking of teach let's go a little bit detail here what's your class like back oh. in home oh. oh the background the, right you know your outfit your props and most of the time i'm wearing the pale fish t-shirt it's a or, nice color <laughs> thank you right i'm always in blue um, I have some animals behind me, some types of maps, some types of pictures, but my classroom, my classroom's ridiculous. We have so much fun. We, I do happy dancing in my class with my okay. students. Yeah, really. <laughs> We're happy dancing all around the classroom because you're awesome and you just got a star and now we're happy get you right? it's yeah. really easy to learn and i do that with the kids i throw myself around in my chair i jump up and down i hokey pokey with the kids get them up get them up and get them moving they need to be moving it's um they they spend all day in school and and they're tired of, of reading and, and doing normal school so Getting them up and jumping around and dancing and having fun is a great way to start every class, and, and I do that in every class. Every class, every single you class. hear that right? <laughs> it's not like a majority of the classes, no, but every, every class. single class. It doesn't hard. matter if they're two or if they're twelve. We're happy dancing all around the class. It's just so yeah. hard, especially for people who live in the <laughs> West Coast. You have to couple with the, the Tanzu issues. Yeah, that's tough. I'm very glad to be here in China because I see daylight. Yes. I don't exactly. at home I I keep what we really call third night. shift, gra graveyard shift hours. Graveyard shift that's what we call hours. it at home. And your term Yeah, nine PM <laughs> to nine AM and then I sleep all day. But now in China I get to see the sunlight. <laughs> exactly. It's been wonderful. And but let's really get deep why you treat every class so well because I'm a mom and, and I have I have five children my kids are grown now but um, as a mom I, I from from day one that I came to Palfish I said I don't know it, as a mom had I that I would have been so comfortable to allow my children to take lessons of any kind over a webcam and as a mother, I kept thinking, these are people's children. This, these are someone's babies. These are babies. Somebody's pride. Somebody's joy. Exactly. These are their kids. Treasures, yeah. kids. And and going into every single class with the mindset that that you're being honored to to to, to come into someone's private home. This is their private life, their private home, and they're they're bringing us in. And, and I have such a respect. Yeah, for that, respect you, especially as yeah, to be trusted on that level with someone's child, you know, their their children, and we're responsible for helping to shape their education and and things that will help them in the future. And it's a big deal. It's it's a it's such a big deal that before every class, I have that conversation with myself, and I, it doesn't matter if I'm having coughing or if I'm sick or if I'm having a bad day. That kid doesn't know that, that I've had a bad day, and that kid is expecting to have fun when they get in the classroom. So it doesn't matter what the situation is, they get my very best because that's somebody's child. And there's nothing more important in this world than treating people's children like the gifts and the treasures that they are. This is a value, a value from our teacher center. Yeah. And 
this thing shines like gold in sunlight. Also shines like like it also glitters like uh, diamond in light. Oh, it is really, thank you. I know it's just so good. I hope every publisher can realize this how great it is, how much impact uh, uh, it will give to the kids, the parents, and the nation. The young generation. Yeah, I, I want to see these young kids graduate from high school one day. I want to watch them when they go off to university one day. And, you know, building relationships now, I'm going to start crying with these, these little babies in there. I, it's just, it's it's so, it's life altering. And to, to have to know that I want to be there to watch them as they grow up and, and see them accomplish everything they will accomplish because these kids are brilliant. I, our kids at Palefish are some of the smartest children I have ever had the opportunity to work with. They remember you. Aww, I love them. <laughs> okay. Let's bounce again. Oh, right, I know. It's, it's like I want to keep making hearts. <laughs> you touch it. Okay, uh, let's talk about some fun moments you have had with your students. <laughs> Happy uh, fun moments, right? Um, I've had all kinds of crazy stuff happen in the classroom. I, I get, I had a kid eat, eat an entire menu once, and I was like, no, no, stop, don't. The ink will make you sick, and and she ate the whole menu. <laughs> it's a little kid, it's little, a little she, she's me. just a little one, just three, little, a little one. girl. Yeah, okay. um, I've seen kids take scissors. Cutting their hair. <laughs> and you're on the other side of the webcam going, no, 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 no stop. But no. you cannot stop them. And you can't stop a kid oh with scissors. Goodness. There's no stopping a child with a pair of scissors. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I probably some of the most memorable moments would be, well, in real life, um, some of the students that I got to meet here, I got to go to the park. And, and play on a monkey bars and, yeah. and swing upside down. And I saw that photo. Play. Yeah, right? I, I, uh, I was swinging upside down. I can still do that kind of stuff. <laughs> but the kids bring it out in there. It's always the kids. These students make every part of trips like this the best thing that you can ever do. The best students in the world. Money sometimes cannot buy this happiness. No, money can't buy this happiness. I and I can honestly attest to that in all of my life. It doesn't matter what what your job is. It really doesn't because we all have to work. And we all have to make a paycheck, and, and there's some things. But this particular type of work, your heart, your heart has to be in it because because it's not really work. I mean, it's it's. Don't get me wrong. It's work. It's work. <laughs> But you get there's paid. such a genuine human element to what we do, the humanity that, that is involved between us and these kids and their families, that um, it brings it to a whole new level where it's very difficult to call it work, not, not like one would think of when you hear the word work. Behold, she just and Rock can even make fun moments very touching. <laughs> <laughs> and very impressive. <laughs> okay, so have your students ever tried to make you cry? Yes. But don't make me wrong, okay? Not the kind of the students who are not well behaved, but the, the kind of students who are the sweetest. Oh, yes. Oh, so many of them. One of the little girls, um, her mama made a video of her talking to Siri on, on her iPad um, to send to me. And, uh, and and I and I cry. I do. I cry. I crawl like a baby. And, and when they have these breakthrough moments in the classroom, where it goes from from parroting everything that we say, from repeating every word we say, to where there's a genuine conversation moment, and and make that connection with the and I do. I cry all the time. I sit in the classroom like this and going, Oh, Mama, Mama, we're so proud. We're sitting and telling moms and. It's hard not to cry because they're accomplishing things that I can't even accomplish. Can you understand my Chinese? Uh, you can try. <laughs> right? Oh, believe me, you can't. Um, <laughs> but these kids, what they can accomplish with English, and, and they're so young, I'm, I'm blown away by the abilities and the skills of the my students. That they, wow, yeah. I have five-year-olds, they do can have conversations. It's just proud to have them. It's wonderful to have them. 
and, yeah. and they, they make it worth it because they tell us that they love us, you know. These students, they're, they're genuine, and I think that's my big thing, is that you're with a child who's genuinely being themselves. To be able to genuinely be yourself in return is what creates that connection. Yeah, I, I hope that, I don't hope that makes sense, but I hope that makes sense. <laughs> it really makes sense. Also, after hearing what you said, not only you make me realize how a better teacher is like, but also to make me know how to be a better teacher. Oh, that was nice. Thank you. That's true. And also, uh, as a teacher representative from Puffish here, you are in the Beijing RHQ office. So, what do you want to say to Puffish parents over there? Oh, Puffish parents, I I love you all. I I have had the opportunity to meet many many moms while I've been on this trip, and some dads too. Um, and grandparents, I got to meet grandparents too. <laughs> I'm, I've learned how to say uh, "nin hao" to, to the grandparents, good. yeah. <laughs> but the families, the parents, are the backbone of of Palpish. It's it's because the parents they they make sure the children show up on time. They 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 handle the schedule. They, they work with their children so that the, the kids are prepared for these classes. And um, and they're willing to talk to us. They're willing to talk to the teachers and the head teachers, and and we all work together. And the parents are an amazing part of making sure that everything happens and and moves forward and progresses nicely. And they're good people too. And many of many of, of them are teachers, which is um, many of my students' parents are teachers in the schools. So it's kind of nice because they have a high expectation of teachers on campus because as teachers themselves they know what's required of them in a classroom and I, I like that too because that is very important it's very important to know that the parents are not expecting any more from us than what they would offer themselves and we, it's important to follow that lead. yeah especially get recognition and uh, uh, good critics from the teachers and educators in China yeah. is also a great thing to have, right, as a teacher from college. I, I, I love them. I love fellow teachers, but there's just so much to talk about when it comes to education. And it doesn't matter what country, it doesn't matter what country we come from, we, we all educate our children. So that's the one thing that we all have in common. And there is no language barrier want to see our children succeed. Our kids are why we do everything. <laughs> All right, so this is our interview with Thank you. teacher Sandra. So oh. what is the ending gesture? Like, like this, you hello. go, we're happy dancing all around the office because we're awesome, because, because we can. Yeah. See ya. <laughs>